What's up guys, BeerYN is back in the house for more Beer on Weekly. I guarantee that this show will be better than Hullabaloo. Whatever the hell that show is from the 50s or 60s. But anyways, let's get on with it. Now, the Paris Summer Olympics are finally done after two weeks. I'm not going to show you some highlights because I know NBC owns them right for copyright reasons. But I do know one event that broke out this year. And when I say break out, I mean break dancing. Rega has decided to select herself into the Paris Olympics in the category of break dancing, which I 100% think it's not a sport. And check out this awkward dance breaking action. Huh, a female teacher from Australia tries out break dancing? That doesn't even look like she's break dancing. That looks more like something Elaine would do. But turns out she's got the moves or everything, like the... I guess it didn't count that she was trying hard. That that girl's been blowing up a TikTok after the Olympics. And Vince, really have been taking on the pop culture. Would you be like this female teacher from Australia doing breakdancing on tryhard mode by doing this weird kangaroo pop? I don't think so, but apparently the dancer herself decided to break out and fight back to us, defending how we think she became viral. We actually procured her message very quickly, so let's take a look. I just want to start by thanking all the people who have supported me. I really appreciate the positivity and I'm glad I was able to bring some joy into your lives. That's what I hoped. Um, I didn't realize that that would also open the door to so much hate, uh, which has frankly been pretty devastating. Um, well, I went out there and I had fun. I did take it very seriously. I worked my butt off preparing for the Olympics and I gave my all, truly. Um, I'm honoured to have been a part of the Australian Olympic team and to be part of Breaking's Olympic debut. What the other athletes have achieved has just been phenomenal. That was very touching. And by the way, about her breakdancing at the Olympics, the judges actually gave her no points at all. So subsequently, she's been eliminated from the Olympics and became a viral hit for no reason. You don't want to be a stupid breakdancer like Rega and seeing all the negative comments that you received that you'll be such a brat. Australia sucks, but I still love the Aussies. Like I said, Australia is kind of weird. Today, Smosh is back after their summer vacation for three months and has put out the season premiere of their newest show, which I'm prematurely reflecting from early 2023. This show is called Bit City, which focuses on the rest of the Smosh members, aside from Anthony and Ian, and which is like a talk show with many comedy sketch bits. If you're wondering how it all started, take a look at the trailer. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Smosh did a late night show? Well, we have little Angela. Whoop, oh! Looks like she's okay. We decided to make a whole new show and put little Angela behind the desk. But don't worry, she's not doing it alone. We've also got our good buddy Chance keeping the show and everyone else on the rails. Because it won't just be the two of them, of course. And if you're curious just what the show will be like, it might look a little something like this. Yeah! Yeah! Sluts can do it too! Ah! Here! Ah! Let's fall in love! Oh! <laughs> you ugly little bitch. <laughs> What the heck is all this? Uh, you said we could do whatever we wanted with the channel. We're gonna regret this, aren't we? Well, by the looks of things, I actually hate this idea. But looking at that sneak peek, 
I have a real bad feeling that this is something similar to what happened before Anthony returned in 2023. Like you got your top 5, your reading comments, your fix it, and the family reunions. Where is this all leading to, Smosh? It was good when the Ian Anthony sketches returned, everyone was relieved. But now look at this! You decided to go away for two months, and now you return with this bit city show? Come on, Smosh, get your shit together! What the heck is all this? Uh, you said we could do whatever we wanted with the channel! We're gonna regret this, aren't we? Yes, Anthony and Ian, you are gonna regret this in the near future, because next year will be your 20th year! You know, I've been showing you a lot of videos of really embarrassing moments for you to be freaked out over about. But I think it's about time that I embarrass myself and you laughing at me. So I have a collection of home movies to show you that I'm pretty sure that pretty soon I might be a viral sensation. For instance, I went on a skiing trip. Take a look. I'm pretty sure I still have some bruises from that tree hit. You know, early this year in the 4th of July, my brother, my dad, and I went to the beach to see the fireworks. But early that day, I participated in a football game. It was such a great game, by the way. I would have made it to the NFL or something. <laughs> no offense to you, Kelsey. Now, speaking of which, about that skiing trip, this isn't the first time I actually experienced snow. The first time is when I was a little kid. My family and I went out for snow sledding. Watch the babies, Michael! Thankfully, my mom captured that on her GoPro, which I didn't expect. They expected from my age a long time ago. But finally, I had to settle everything out. So what do I do out of all the creativity in action? I decided to go to a rodeo with my friends, and we just dine out in center with the bulls. <laughs> Always positive. Hey, That's really nice. <laughs> Here's the fifth play. Here it comes, man. Game, and they oh, call it. Did you expect that? I was in the green one on the left, and the bull just literally knocked me out of my seat. <laughs> well, that's it for my home movies. But well, right now, let's get to on with the news. Well, anyways, why don't we look at today's honorable mentions? Our top story focuses on this Wiggles product, and which is based on a recall. The Wiggles have officially recalled a rebuttal on the Emma Bow product containing coin battery flashing lights by warning the parents that this could be an unsafe product for kids. And yes, children, coin batteries could be edible candy. In a related story, in the first time in Wiggles history, they finally reached their 100th studio album, containing 100 educational songs for children. Yes, this is the only music group that can only reach 100 studio albums, maintaining, well, they're Australian, they always record an album every month between the filming of their TV series or videos. But you know which other children they break out? Coco Melon. You know, I forgot to mention that Felonist Group Jr. looks exactly the same as Jack Jack Barr. Dan, look similar. <laughs> hey, I bet you all remember this horrible season of Saturday Night Live from 20 years ago. It was supposed to be a great 20 years for SNL at that time. You know, Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, Kevin Nealon, Mike Myers were still there. Well, everything got crumbled down. Well, maybe because of their rival show, In Living Color. Or maybe a bunch of mixed changes to the cast member lineups. Oh wait, I think I know why. 
A reporter from New York Magazine commented that it's not funny anymore. I guess that's why Lauren fired everyone, including the writers and the cast members, because they were completely suckish. And no Thun was new to Weekend Update at time. If he would have got fired immediately, he would have gotten crack. Oh no, BTS is up to Korean War! Well, anyways, in all serious matter, day 3 of VidCon 2024 is finally out on my channel, but as I was watching Girl Math live on stage, everyone didn't expect this moment. So the massage parlor up the street and so we don't have to pay for it? <laughs> For respect. Lauren, if you're watching this, please. I think you realized that moment. I know it's really windy outside when you're on the stage. I know I don't want to make fun of it because I knew I find it offensive. If I make a joke that that moment happened unexpectedly on stage, it'll be like, I'm never going back to VidCon again because my skirt just blew up on stage and now I'm gonna get Miss Monroleified. Ugh. No, seriously, one. I wouldn't make fun of you because I just met you at the Stand By Me and Greet. Well, out of respect, if I make a joke like that, it would have go something like... The spokesman who responded to that incident on stage and wanted to defend that moment is former porn star Stormy Daniels. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have been good. Anyways, that's it for this week's Brew Run Weekly. At least this is better than the last one I did, because it was pretty horrible. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just click the info button and see what the hell I was really talking about. Also, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything, including what I'm about to put up on my social medias down here. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. So, I'll see you guys next Friday with a new episode. Peace. In two weeks, we return by saying, please don't judge me on this pizza.